Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff with Body by Science, Ultimate Exercise and DrMcGuff.com. I just finished a workout here late on a Friday night after uh, heading home from work. I just wanted to take a brief break uh, to give you all an update from the medical literature that I found interesting. Received this in the email the other day. Um, apparently the um, Internal Medicine Journal uh, for the Canadian Medical Association recently published an article an opinion piece stating that muscle mass needs to be considered a vital sign in the healthcare setting. They're making a lobby for it to be the fifth vital sign. Um, they cited lots of different literature supporting this assertion, um, but plucked from the article are just a few statements that I thought you would find interesting. Women with breast cancer who had more muscle had nearly 60% better chance of survival. Patients in the intensive care unit with more muscle spend less time on the ventilator as well as the time in the ICU and have a better chance of survival. Patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease who have more muscle experience better respiratory outcomes and lower occurrences of osteopenia or osteoporosis. And finally, in the long-term care setting, individuals with lower muscle mass had more severe Alzheimer's disease. And the conclusion was muscle mass should be looked at as a new vital sign, said Carla Prado, PhD, University of Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta. So for those of us in the field, this comes as no surprise to us. We've been following this for a long while. And it ought to be intuitive that muscle mass will be a window to the entire rest of the body. So if we go back to our high school biology class and we go through um, the taxonomy of different species, we go, King Philip came over for good sex. Kingdom, phylum, order, genus, species. Um, so, the kingdom of Animalia, or animals, the main thing that distinguishes that kingdom from other living things is movement. And like we've said before, movement is our most preserved biologic function. Without movement, we can't get food and we can't keep from becoming food. And that is why skeletal muscle mass is our most preserved biologic entity and it is why muscle mass signals every other tissue in the body through myokines. As a matter of fact, it turns out that myokine signaling is one of the major reasons that breast cancer incidence and mortality from breast cancer is reduced in the presence of intense muscular exercise and preservation of muscle mass. For the same reason, it is myokine signaling that determines bone mineral density and prevents osteoporosis and osteopenia. It is almost certain that myokine signaling or other biological signals that emanate from skeletal muscle determine the health status of all of our other organs because it is movement which is our most preserved biologic function. And that's why the type of work that we do here at Ultimate Exercise, that people do at facilities around the country, or that you can do in your own home, basement, or gym is the most important public health measure that we can take in the year 2018 
and the upcoming year 2019. So I just wanted to drop that little piece of knowledge on you. Right now, I'm done working out. I'm gonna head home. It's Dr. McGuff, Body by Science, Ultimate Exercise, and DrMcGuff.com.